This is the second video in the series on my rifle. This is a Browning x 270 Winchester rifle. And the first video reviewed the rifle itself. This second video is going to review the Redfield Revolution scope I have mounted here. So this is a Redfield Revolution 3x9x50. This scope comes in a 3x9x50 as well as a 3x9x40. So I have the bigger one, lets more light in the back end and gives me more of a view uh, during the dark hours. So we had to mount this with these browning brackets here. The gun I bought used, it came with these loopled T-shaped brackets. Uh, the only problem is, is the way this gun is, is set up since it's a bolt action. With these T-brackets, it was cutting into this uh, bezel onto the 3x9x50. Most likely, if I got a 3x9x40, it would have worked out well. But with the 50, I had some issues. So I ended up getting these browning brackets. As you can see, they're both L-shaped, and they keep the, the mount as close to the uh, entry for the bullet here as possible, for the, for the round as possible. So again, it's a Redfield 3x9x50. Right here is your adjustment for your 3x9. Right here is a little ring. It allows you to adjust your eye relief. You can turn this in and out depending on how you like to keep your cheek on the stock. Then you can lock it in place wherever you like it. So the AccuRange reticle is what they use in this rifle, or what they use in the scope. And you can get this with a standard scope or, a, or an AccuRange reticle. So here's a quick view of the AccuRange reticle. And uh, we'll be showing you some videos here, some footage inside of the gun itself seeing how good we can go with our cameras to show you the, the range. You set this at 200 yards, you zero it, and then inside the reticle you can adjust your three, four, 500 yard scope. So sort of depending on whether you want to not, whether or not you're at 200 or 300 or 400 or 500, this is a terrible way to end a video. So we're gonna stop here and we'll figure it out later. All right, so here are some terrible quality of the scope itself, but here's a picture of the scope. Look in real time. As you can see, there's a crosshair. There's a circle around the crosshair. It's hard to make out, but there is a dot underneath the crosshair. And then you can see the thicker lines are on the outside of the center of the uh, reticle here. So the crosshair itself, you center that for, you zero that for 200 yards. The bottom of the circle underneath the reticle that's your 300 yard mark the dot underneath of that is your 400 yard mark and the very top of the thick lines is your 500 yard mark this is how you use the AccuRange reticle this is how you zero it in and it works pretty damn well so stay tuned and thanks for watching